Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can show and hide certain elements on your repeater items from your collections. Let's say you have some items in your collection that you want to display some things in the repeater, but you don't want these elements to show on every item in the repeater. This is what this would be perfect for. Now I will say this does require a little bit of code, but as usual, you can go ahead and click the link in the description to our website and grab the code for free. But I still highly suggest you watch this video to make sure you set everything up correctly. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're gonna want to do is go ahead and add a collection to our website. For example, let's come over to Content Manager. Let's add a preset and let's add the team database right here. After the database opens up, let's go ahead and add a new field. We'll make the field type a text and we'll call this one special title. And then we want to make sure that the field key is also special title right here, just like that. And let's go ahead and copy this field key while we're here. And we'll go ahead and exit out of this database. Now what we'll want to do is go ahead and come over to a page that we want to add the repeater to. We'll come to add list, we'll go to blank repeater, and we'll grab one of these out just like that. And we'll change the background for all of these to zero opacity for the color. Great. Now let's go ahead and add an image element. So we'll come over to add images. We'll find one that we want to use and press add to page. Obviously we'll bring the size down quite a bit and we'll stick it right into the repeater just like that. Perfect. Next, let's add a text element. And this one can be the name. And now I want to create some sort of badge icon for the special title thing field that we created in the database. So let's come over to add, come to decorative. And we'll just choose something like this for now. And then we'll change the color to maybe this light green. Inside of it, let's add a paragraph. And we'll just place it right here on top of our little icon. We'll grab both of these and group these together. And then we can go ahead and put this inside of the repeater right below the name, something like this. So now what I want to do is come over to our content manager. We'll go to collections and we'll open up our team. Here you'll notice we have six different employees in our database and maybe for Ashley Amerson, we want to add a special title like maybe employee of the month, something like that. So she's going to be employee of the month, but all the other ones are not going to have a title. So we don't want employee of the month or that badge to show on their items. We just want it to show on Ashley Amerson's. So before we can actually get that done, we also need to add a collection to the page. So we're going to come over to add content manager and data set. It's going to bring this little icon onto the page, but don't worry. Once you publish the website, this is not going to be visible for your users. It's simply just here in the editor so we can work on it, but we're going to go into the settings and we're going to make sure we choose the team database just like that. Then we're going to go to the repeater and we're going to start connecting the, all of these elements to our team data set. And for this special title text right here, we want this to connect to the special title text, just like that. And you'll see for Ashley Amerson, it's the only one that actually got affected. What I want to do real quick is just expand this little box down a little bit. And now with Ashley Amerson, we want to make sure that for her, we see this little badge, but on everyone else, we don't. So this is where the code part comes in. So what we're gonna do is come over to dev mode and we're gonna turn this on. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this group right here and we're gonna call this badge. So now when we're coding, we'll just refer to this as the badge. Perfect. So what we want to do first here in the code is we want to grab the database or the data set. So we're gonna say dollar sign W and this is called the data set one. So I'm going to say data set one. And we're going to say on ready. And we're going to have two parentheses with an equal sign greater than and some curly brackets, just like that. And then inside here, we need to grab the repeater. 
So the repeater is called repeater one. Let's go ahead and say dollar sign W. We'll grab repeater one. And we're gonna say dot on item ready. And we're gonna have two parentheses. And we're gonna say dollar sign item, comma, item data. And then just like with the data set, we're gonna actually add an equal sign greater than and some curly brackets, just like that. Perfect. And now let's go ahead and create a small variable. So we're, what we're gonna do is say let s title equal item data dot, and we need to put in the field key that we got. So we'll just paste it in, which was special title, just like that. And if you don't remember what your field key is, you can easily come over to content manager, go to collections, open up your database. Then you can go over to the field that you're gonna be using for the code. You can just go to click on it, press edit, and then you'll see the field key right here. So you can just copy it and then use it in the code, just like we did right here. Underneath this, then we're gonna say if, and we're gonna put in some parentheses, and we're gonna say if s title is triple equal to some quotations, and then we're gonna add some lines right here and say if s title is triple equal to null, or if s title is triple equal to undefined, then we're gonna have some curly brackets underneath that. And we're gonna say dollar sign item. And we're going to call the badge element. So we're gonna say quotes. And we're gonna say badge. And we're going to hide with some parentheses, just like that. And then underneath that, we're gonna say else with some more curly brackets. And we're just gonna paste in the same line except we're gonna change hide to show. So now if we go ahead and press preview, we'll notice that the only person with this badge in text and even the vector art is gonna be Ashley Amerson with employee of the month. And the cool thing is, is you can actually use this even with a Boolean method in the database. So instead of saying if S title has content inside of it, then, or if the S title does not have content inside of it, then hide it. What you can do is say, if the S title field is false, then you hide it, otherwise show it. So you can do stuff like that here as well. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.